Dear students, welcome to Indian Academy Degree College Autonomous. I am Professor Surya, Director of Academic Excellence. Today, we are going to talk about an important financial statement called cash flow statement. Students, you know, cash flow is a very important item for any company, for any business. When I say financial statements, there are basically five financial statements that any company, listed company I'm talking about, has. Number one, statement of comprehensive income. This statement deals with the income earned during a particular financial period and expenses incurred during that period. When it comes to statement of financial position, number two, it shows the position of a company in terms of the assets it owns and liability it owes. Similarly, we have a third important financial statement called cash flow statement. Of course, the fourth one is statement of changes in equity and fifth one is notes to the financial statement. All these put together is called statements, financial statements. Now coming to cash flow statements. Cash flow statements are very important financial statements that any company prepares. Now the question is why do we have to prepare a cash flow statement. Interesting, isn't it? So cash flow statements are prepared because there are certain cash inflows but not necessarily income. For example, just think when we take loan from bank, cash flows into the business, isn't that right? Yes, it flows into the business but that is not the income that we earn. It's not an income earned. So but it has to be recorded somewhere. So therefore, you cannot show loans borrowed, although there is a cash inflow into the business, as an income in the statement of comprehensive income. And that's the reason why we show it as an item that inflows into the cash flow statement. And cash flow statement students talks about the cash inflows and outflows, how much cash has flown in and how much cash has flown out, the actual cash inflows. Now take another example, depreciation. Depreciation popularly is called a non-cash expense. Why it is a non-cash expense? We show it as an expense, we claim it as an expense for the tax purposes. You show depreciation on machinery, you show depreciation on plant, you show depreciation on motor vehicles, etc. Now, you can claim depreciation to that extent your profit reduces and therefore tax reduces. Whereas, actually are we going to pay someone? No, we are not going to pay anybody else. So, although we show it as an expense, but necessarily it does not result in the cash outflow. Therefore, it is an expense, but does not necessarily result in the cash outflow. Therefore, we are not going to record it in the cash outflow as in cash flow statement. Okay, those are the examples of what and why we need a cash flow statement. Because we have some incomes which are received, but this results in a cash inflow, but not necessarily an income. Similarly, we have some expenses, but they are not necessarily cash outflow. They do not result in cash outflow. That's what I mean. Okay, let's understand the contents of a cash flow statement. Basically, there are three important segments in the cash flow statement. Number one, operating cash flows. This talks about the core business, what the business is. For example, you take uh, the example of a college like Indian Academy. Now we have the main income coming from students fees or research consultancies, etc. And what are the main expenses? Salary to the people, staff, teaching and non-teaching. So that forms to be the core part of our business. So whatever money that is raised as an inflow or whatever is incurred as expense, as an outflow, related to our core business activity, which is the focal point for any business, is recorded under operating cash flow. That is our core business activity. Comes the next one is investing activities. Obviously, any business has its own investment. We buy machinery, we sell machinery, we buy buildings, we sell buildings, we buy uh, vehicles and we sell vehicles. So whenever we buy vehicles, the asset comes in, but the cash goes out. Whenever we sell the vehicle, the car or any vehicle for that matter or building for that matter goes out and then cash comes in. This is recorded in or under investing activities. Comes the last 
cash flow from financing activities. This is what I was talking about. When you take a loan, that results in cash inflow. So therefore, we record it and show it under cash inflow. Similarly, when we pay uh, financial charges or interest on loan taken, that is obviously an expense and that results in cash outflow. So this we record it under cash outflow. Similarly, when we pay dividends, it results in cash outflow. Isn't that? So this is an importance of why we prepare a cash flow statement. I'm sure that you got a lot of points from this session. And if you have further doubts, do not hesitate to contact us. We'll be discussing more about these statements in the coming videos. I hope you have enjoyed the session. Thank you and bye bye. Have a nice day. Thank you.